Hello Scorpios, welcome to I Enigma. I Enigma gonna be doing your general reading between 1 to 7 of November 2023. I'll see the current energies around you and how does this person feel for you who's coming next and what's gonna happen. Health and career guidance in a nutshell. Note that this is a general reading, it may or may not resonate. So take what resonates and leave what does not. For accurate personal reading consultations, reach out to me on WhatsApp, Instagram, and email. Or oh, for white previous spells as well, you can reach out to me. I also have energized premium quality crystals available. We have the rare and highest quality crystals. So if you want to book your favorite crystal, you can reach out to me. Check out more on my Instagram reels. All the details are given down below in the description box. So see the messages to your Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, or Mercury, Sun, and Scorpio, plus cross watchers. I also have another channel that is Enigma Scorpio channel where you can check out daily Scorpio reads and see the messages. Oh. All right. So you're having... Six of Wands, Two of Swords, The Wheel of Fortune. Oh, Two of Wands. Yeah, there's a lot of confusion in your life right now. I feel like you want to achieve really big in your life with the Six of Wands, but you don't know where to start, how to do it, and you know where to begin. You're so confused about what should I do next? Where should I begin? What you know, you're very, very confused right now. There's a lot of confusion in your head right now. Maybe you're not taking that much interest in your work as you used to at one point of time. Two of Wands is like you want something else to go with your uh, goals. Like, for example, you want your love life to be flourishing, you want other things also going on hand in hand. But because you're only focused on one thing, you're just tired of doing the same old thing. You want to change. So you are waiting for that change to happen in your life. You're really waiting for your love life to emerge. That's what you're thinking, Scorpio, right now. I'm also seeing you do go back and forth with the right and wrong. Sometimes you do the wrong things and then you realize and then you get back to the right. And then it just keeps going like back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And this is why... Your track is so blurred. Your vision is so blurred when it comes to wanting something. But I'm seeing a change in your life coming with this movement. Like just make a movement. Take small steps towards the change. I know that the change is coming for you Scorpios. But you have to not think about whether it's happening or not. Just keep taking forward steps. That is really important. But I'm definitely seeing that you're going to achieve... Uh, a lot in life okay without much battle but i'm also seeing a lot of traveling will be there regarding your work otherwise as well to refresh your energy six of wands you're going to be a winner but don't be in this energy of back and forth when you know that this is not right but you're still going after it it's gonna bother you only scorpio write down in the comment section claim i'm focused i'm focused i'm the winner in life Okay, the judgment. See, this was the bottom of the deck, right? This came out. Judgment. You have to make the right decision. You have to keep discerning between the right and the wrong. If you're still going with the, uh, with your heart and not using your logic, not using your brain, you will always end up getting yourself into the, uh, you know, two-way path. You will not be able to uh, focus on one thing or you won't be able to be on track. So it's really important for you to keep making decisions okay and cutting down what is just not helping you and not going after those things that are you know uh, attracting you for the moment but is not going to bring you any kind of success it's important for you to uh, be able to discern every time you have options to stay in track six of pentacles this is no one that can take away success from you you're going to be successful no matter whatever happens uh, Scorpio in, in the period of 1 to 7 of November you will see a lot of successful you know uh, changes taking place you will see success coming to you You will see a lot of uh, maybe you're gonna go out on a celebration or a wedding or an event or something you're gonna have a lot of fun that's what I'm seeing so six of pentacles is like you guys are gonna celebrate and you will be celebrating your own achievements as well 
yeah pay attention to your work that is really important because right now what you're doing scorpio is the work that you're doing right now whatever uh, passion with whatever skill you are working on yourself working on your career in your profession i'm seeing this you will be in limelight a lot of people around you your colleagues your boss your seniors your juniors everybody you're talking about you whatever your work is your perfection is going to get highlighted. The, the way you're doing your work, your skills are going to be appreciated. People are going to recognize you for your work. So pay attention to your career. You should not sway okay, from it. You should stay fixated on your goal. And you will, say a lot, you will see a lot of stability, success, prosperity, and sense of security coming in. But it all depends upon how easily you are distracted okay so you don't have to distract yourself you have to stay on your path to achieve the gifts of life to achieve this beautiful uh you know taste of success you're going to taste success in such an extraordinary way right now you might be spending too much money on random things time for you to some of you are not able to end the past cycle like a karmic debt with someone or a past cycle with someone it is time for you to completely cut off ties with a five of pentacles you really need to uh separate yourself or cut cords with whatever hurts you still hurts you because you're still expecting something from the past to come back uh, in some way or form but i feel like it's time for you to clear the past use whatever was in the past let it stay in the past guys there's no need to correct everything that's around you it's not your business it's not your work so keep moving ahead keep your head high held a high i'm seeing like uh, in this energy of having no one in your life in the past from here to here this is what you're becoming the three of cups and the ten of cups you guys are going to be having life full of happiness you guys are going to fulfill all your wishes i'm feeling like maybe you're going to have a lot of fun with your near and dear ones you're going to be making new friends you're going to hang out with your friends you're going to like wear new dresses you're going to shop whatever it is that makes you happy you're going to do that some of you if this is a connection you're in a relationship with someone then this is going towards marriage. I feel this person is going to propose you for marriage or the connection or the bond is becoming stronger. It's leading towards marriage. So I'm feeling all the good things happening in your life, Scorpio, between 1 to 7 of November. It's time for you to chill and not worry about a thing. Okay? So no more carrying the past baggage with you. That's what you're going to leave in the month of October all together at once. Queen of Cups, you guys are going to get a lot of attention. You may uh, receive a proposal from someone, a marriage proposal on the spot. Possible. Someone from a long distance or someone that is from a very, very different upbringing. This person is going to propose you. I feel like they will make you feel special. I'm also seeing more than that, you're going to love yourself. You're going to enjoy your life at your best. You're not going to remain at home. You're not going to remain at work. You will be like all the time with your friends, family, with yourself, hanging out, pampering yourself, doing spa, whatever it is that makes you happy, you're going to be in self-love energy right now. So this is why you might receive someone, uh, someone's proposal, like marriage proposal, that might cheer you up, that might make you feel so happy, and like you will jump and dance with joy. It's a beautiful moment. You guys are not skipping any, any minute, like you will have each and every minute you will spend on happiness okay then of swords time for you to make a decision to release i feel that's what you're doing finally i feel like you've gotten over your past fully you're not really interested in this person if you're still talking to someone from the past i feel there's going to be a final closure coming in this first week you're gonna feel so light and so relaxed that you finally got rid of the drama from the past so you're not no more giving attention to the past okay you definitely are not even interested but I'm definitely seeing you moving forward in your life because you made a decision that I was asking you to make. So the discernment is being made, coming out and embracing the new. That is what your energy is going to be in this week. Right. Oh, pick this. Okay. Then we're having the hermit and the high priestess. You will spend a lot of time learning a new skill. You will spend a lot of time teaching or uh, becoming a student learning 
maybe you are going to be teaching or maybe you're going to be learning something it's like you're improvising on your skills secretly you're not talking you're not telling anyone it's like you're secretly expanding your knowledge gaining uh, confidence with it so you're doing some self-analysis i'm also seeing you're doing some research you're waking late night and working on your dreams working on your goals you feel more relaxed because there's no one to compete with you there's no one to judge you you're keeping it to yourself that's why some of you are dealing with a pisces or a virgo here there you go i'll take all of these okay now the cups you guys do you see this one thing the ten of cups and the ten of pentacles you can see this and then this is adjoining the knight of cups and then this three of cups this has a clear message that you guys are very close to your ultimate dream come true partner. This is like a marriage proposal on the spot possible. This is like something like you are about to experience the shift in your life, the major shift, mostly in your love life. I'm seeing someone is coming with true authentic love proposal 10 and 10. 10 on 10 connection and the knight of cups is confirming this is someone that is a lover they will be very very emotional towards you scorpio two of pentacles it's going to be an equal give and take between the two of you oh the queen of cups and the queen of wands we have two people over here okay let's talk about this the queen of wands there are two people here Either your person's deciding between you and the other person. Let's see what that is. But yeah, I'm seeing there's something to do with two people over here. All right, let's see. And the three of cups. Oops. Knight of swords. I think it's your past person and the new person you're deciding between. All right, uh, take this again. Please clarify the two of pentacles, the queen of wands, the queen of cups, and the two of wands. All right, so let's see. The strength. You could be dealing with a Leo. All right, four of swords. Ah, there's a decision time. I feel like you're still deciding between the new and the past or you're still deciding or there's in both new options coming towards you and deciding between the two. So I feel like you have two choices and you will be deciding between the two people. Who do you want to be with? And you're getting a lot of attention, but you're staying strong. You're not in a rush here. I feel you want to be like, okay, let me think. Let me see what I need to do in this um, situation. But I'm seeing two love offers coming in okay uh after some time like first at one point you will receive one proposal and then you will receive another proposal but i'm definitely seeing you are staying strong you're not getting affected you're not being too happy you're not being too hyper you're in this energy of i'm happy where i am i might not even need a partner that is what your energy right now is okay house you're just loving the house you might be renovating your own house you have a lot of good friends around your house uh, people coming to your home i'm also seeing this lover this person is going to invite you to their home or they're going to bring their family to your home there's an energy of someone coming with family or inviting you to their family because you guys are gonna like um you know visit some people you know socialize and be a part of celebrations that's how you meet this person but there's a lot of traveling involved over here which is very very important for you to get involved with someone right so that you can meet you can you know uh different people finances and career separation let me see more to this some of you recently left a job or a place of work that you're working in Okay, I'm seeing that uh, you're finally getting out of the past, okay? And you're separating yourself from your past lover who was after your life or who you were after. Uh, after. And now you're focusing a lot on your finances and career that have literally stabilized you and made you feel more relaxed. Very soon, very soon, you can see this. Uh, someone is gonna win your trust in love very soon. And this person is someone extremely happy and happy to go, happy, uh, go lucky, uh, optimistic, positive. 
this is a new love that you're attracting in your life very very soon i'm seeing a new love coming into your life okay with whom you will have a strong relationship a strong bond with and then you're having i think that it's something about the past that you're coming out of okay there are two options one is a past lover who hurt you who ditched you and then is also playing with you and then there is new love that's going to change your whole life so have some patience till then focus on your work let's see what's going to happen next all right nine of pentacles you guys are gonna be like making good money spending money on yourself buying new expensive things you're gonna look so good you're gonna like click beautiful pictures gonna look amazing you will be looking so good look uh, you know good the ten of wands you are struggling to be happy somewhere i feel like you have this feeling like i need love i need love i need love sometimes you feel like that but i'm definitely saying you need to stay easy on yourself because love is definitely around you all the people around you will come towards you with a loving energy with a lot of positivity and it's time for you to embrace that and there's going to be a lot of happiness around there's a love proposal coming in it might stress you out initially because you'll be like oh i didn't expect this this happening so fast you know all right yes focus on your divine life purpose something big is going to happen in your uh, career and then yes when you heal from the past you move on how do you heal by forgiving write down in the uh, comment section and claim i am happy i am loved i'm getting married your new beginning in love has started don't be misled okay don't be misguided okay if someone from the past is asking you to come back or stuff like that don't get a uh, misinformed or uh be very logical like you don't use your heart all the time you have to be logical when it comes to making a right decision who do you want to be with who you not want to be with you you should be very uh, much aware of who you are trusting who you are listening to what you are listening to and what you're believing in a lot of people will try to manipulate you play with your mind as well this is something that i'm sensing okay so don't get misled stay in your senses Let's see the signs coming in for you. Okay, so we have someone coming Cancer, Libra, another Scorpio. Okay, they could be another signs. Now let's see from Aries to Pisces your person's feelings towards you. Let's see. One more please. All right, Aries. Aries is definitely wanting something serious over here. They really want to marry you. They really want to be with you. The Taurus feels a strong bond towards you. They just get attracted towards you. They don't know why. The Gemini is dating other people as well, but they are unsure about what they want in life. Cancer is not letting go of their past. Leo not interested. Virgo is angry on you and doesn't want to talk for some reason. I don't know. Libra very very attracted towards you. Scorpio. Scorpio wants to come towards you. The proposal here. They're being very generous towards you. Sagittarius is already in love here. They really love you. Capricorn wants marriage, a relationship, lifetime commitment. Aquarius not interested or very very confused because they they are more focused on money. Pisces. They want to connect with you. They want to talk to you, and they're highly attracted towards you as a person who you are. All right. Now let's see the charms over here. So what we're having right now is ooh there's a new love you can see the ace of cups beautiful this and where was the ace of cups so you know there was an ace of cups card right anyway so this is also talking about ace of cups and then this is a you guys are going to fall in love again oh my gosh this person could have n a in their name i and t nita anita this this would be the name Tina, Antonella, Iman, Antoine. Okay, could be any name. Annie, Anika. Okay, Nitika, Nikita, Ani, Anya, something like that. And uh, Ashley, Natali, Natasha. All of these names that I'm getting. Andrew, um, Nathan. 
all right you're gonna feel so happy that this spot you found the key to your heart you find found the key to your happiness feel like it's time for you to grow and focus on your life purpose gonna make it big and i'm also seeing you may travel you might find someone extremely romantic coming towards you the love i'm also seeing your life is going to change major luck coming in pay focus on your work and i'm also seeing you might be putting up nice pictures or making new videos and you're getting obsessed with it i'm seeing your life is becoming more love life is becoming more and more musical i would like to end it with an advice over here in your love life especially let's see yeah stay focused stay in one lane don't keep changing your lanes that is very very important for you and uh, pay attention to this person's attitude and check on any kind of red flags and uh, this person is someone that's coming towards you the commitment don't give them a benefit like don't give i'm not saying that don't make them feel doubtful about your actions okay let me see your health and career career we've already seen i think your career is going to be amazing stay focused again you're going to be having a permanent uh work where you can have a consistent income and then i'm seeing your health is definitely uh keep exercising keep moving keep interacting with people stay proactive because that is going to give you a good health all the time so that is it i hope you enjoyed this wonderful read thank you for your time please do like share comment and subscribe to i enigma bye for now